Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Dreams. You know, there's a crisis going on in Israel, and I would imagine that our fuel prices are going to skyrocket. So I thought I'd post a really quick little video about solar energy. I mean, this is just one panel, 100 watt panel from Harbor Freight and a few other components. So about $200 altogether. And this could power up your living room, your bedroom, give you heat, give you air, be able to work on things. Take a look and see what you can do with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this over to that area that I just built a little pad. That's just a temporary thing. Makes it nice and secure to put the you know uh, solar panel on. Then we're gonna run some Romex all the way from there into here. It's probably about, uh, I'd say 80 feet. And I'm wondering how much power loss we'll have from the pad over here to the tiny house. So let's go check it out. Okay, we've got this panel set up in full sun. Let's see how much uh, power this thing puts out just from the sun. So we have this panel out in full sun, got it hooked up to the meter and it says 21.1. Can you see that? 21.1. That's pretty good power coming off of a little 100 watt uh, panel. This is volts, 21 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how much voltage loss there is after we run a, a Romex cable about 60 or 80 feet over to the cabin. So let's do that next. Okay, you ready? Can you see that? 20.2, so we lost 0.9 volts running this 60 plus feet. So there was some loss, but I think this is more than enough to keep our battery charged and our solar controller will, will take care of the rest. Let's go ahead and hook up the rest of the system. Okay, here's a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is a box from uh, Harbor Freight and it's got a bunch of different connectors in it and that's all these pieces that we see laying out here actually a pretty good buy I don't remember the cost of that but it's pretty pretty good buy especially if you're going to use you know Harbor Freight's Thunderbolt stuff because these connectors only go on the Thunderbolt system they don't go on any other systems so they work really good um, a lot of different things here we're going to try a couple of them out I actually had two solar controllers this one is this one's 500 watts i don't know if you can see that or not this is a good one 500 watts so it can handle quite a bit of of power coming into it this is one of those thunderbolt uh, systems from harbor freight and again everything is designed to work with that you know you've got your solar input it plugs in real simple if you want to run some lights or you know whatever you're running you've got dc outputs here and it's got, I like a couple of things. It's got the USB chargers on it, which is nice. Um, and also you could just run direct wires into it as well. Place for the solar panels to come in, your battery, and of course you're out for the lights as well. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Oh, real quick. So I have this old 750 watt inverter. Um, that came from Harbor Freight about, I don't know, eight years ago, nine years ago. And I also picked up one of their newer things, it's only a thousand watts, but um, also from Harbor Freight. And you know, the, I'm really curious which one of these, there's only 250 watt difference, but let's find out which one works better. Okay, so we've hooked up the solar control panel. This is the solar control. It will actually control how much charge goes into that battery. And we can hook up things like an inverter. This is a thousand watt inverter with a 2000 watt Peak. So in other words, when a motor starts, you know, it pulls a little bit more amperage. So you can see how it's hooked up. That's the solar panel. We've got the wires coming from the solar panel coming in. Battery wires. And these wires are going over to our inverter. Pretty simple. And you can kind of see what's going on there. The sun just kind of passed in the clouds. But right now we're producing 13.8 volts. And you can kind of see it comes from the solar panel to the battery, and then of course to whatever we're gonna use, you know, the light or whatever we're gonna use. So what can we use, what can you actually run off of solar power, off of a thousand watt 
inverter. Let's take a look. First of all, you know that you can run, you know, this is a 12 volt bulb and it's got the connection going right into that Thunderbolt charger. Real simple. And almost everybody knows that you can run lights. That's really given, right? But what else can you actually run? Okay, with our inverter turned on, these are, you know, clippers, hair cutting stuff. We can see what that does. If we can turn it on, that runs pretty good. What kind of voltage are we losing? Oh, a little bit, 13.3 now. So it draws a little bit of current, but this would probably run, you know, for a few hours, easily cut your hair. So here's an old box fan and we can run that. That's on high. You can see we've got it plugged into the inverter. But look what's happening, it's already 12.2. It's pulling a lot of power. So it's probably a couple amps to start that. Let's, let's do it again. We'll turn it off. You can see that voltage climb back up. You'll hear me kick it on. You can see it drop. So it took a couple amps to start this motor, but it works good. And I'll bet you it would run for a few hours. Um, if that sun comes up and stays out, then this will continue to charge, no problem. How about a Craftsman drill? Okay, let's see what the ultimate test is. You know, a lot of little things work, you know, off of solar power. And we've got, this is only a thousand watt inverter, 2000 watt peak. And we've got our, just one battery. And what I did was I hooked up the air conditioner, okay? Let's go ahead and kick on the inverter. Do you hear that air conditioner come on? Here we go. Excuse the mess. This is blowing cold air. <laughs> it's cold and it's working great. Got it on the energy save, the auto cool. And it's working good. see what's happening over here at the control but you can see how quick that draws that power out of there we're already down to 12 6 12 8 whatever inverters still working so the fan just came on inside of the inverter you can see we're really getting down there let's see when that shuts down Remember what we've got, we've got solar control bringing power back to the battery, but the battery is supplying power to the inverter. So as that battery runs down, then the inverter is not gonna work, nor will the air conditioner. The air conditioner is drawing a lot of power, a lot of amperage. Okay, so we've got the Craftsman drill. We've got it hooked up to the solar bank. More than enough power to work on anything, you know, for extended periods of time with just a thousand watt inverter. So you know, with this crisis there in Israel and in the Gulf area, the price of fuel is probably going to skyrocket. I urge you to explore the possibilities of solar power. It doesn't seem like very much, and we just showed a few things, but the major one there was the air conditioner. If you live in the south, you need AC, if, and it will probably do the same thing for a furnace. Well, at least for a gas furnace. If you have an electric furnace, I don't think a 100-watt panel would run that. But I do think that it is a great investment you know, for less than $200, you can definitely power up a room, maybe the living room, the bedroom, and truly save a little bit of money. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.